Greetings, true friends, and welcome back to Games Fucking Kitchen. I had to keep the introduction a bit lower intensity there because the princess is sleeping and I didn't want to wake her up. So anyway, this video, this recipe, if you will, is a follow-up video to the one I made about fats and carbohydrates. And this is for anyone who goes along the path of eating more fats and less carbohydrates. If you are eating regular breakfast, if you are eating a breakfast which contains carbohydrates, this is a recipe you should stay very clear of. I use this recipe every once in a while if I know I don't intend to eat for a few hours if I will want to have a good amount of energy for a an activity but not an high intensity activity. So first and foremost we know what caffeine does, it uh, gives us some mental clarity and it gives us some extra energy for a few hours and fats the same thing and if you are accustomed, if you have accustomed your body to run more efficiently on fats because you eat more fats this will be even better. So basically what it does, this recipe I'm about to show you, is that it gives you some energy and when that energy from the fats is expended, you will continue to burn your body fat. Now keep in mind, if you want to lose weight, the magic formula is calories in versus calories out. So you can't magically manipulate your body to burn fat in any secret way, it's just a matter of doing it as pleasantly as possible and in my humble view as I said in my carbohydrates video I eat a lot of carbohydrates because I want to fuel my athletic performance in whatever sport it might be primarily the temple of iron but for anyone who does lower intensity activities or for someone who doesn't train that much or for me personally if I'm not doing something high intensity this is a recipe I am going with. So enough rambling, let me show you the ingredients. First and foremost, of course, coffee. I won't tell you which brand it is. Ultimately, it would have been my own brand, but I'm not quite there yet. But um, one day it's something to, um, to strive to watch and then I will make damn sure to visit the farmers who are making the actual coffee, see that they are being treated fairly by everyone, that they have good conditions to work in and uh, that the coffee beans are good and solid. But anyway, main ingredients, coffee. Then we have three different ingredients and you can choose two of them if you want. And you can take a tablespoon of the two of your choice. So first and foremost we have some coconut oil. Looks like that. And uh, you can take one tablespoon, throw it in there, gives it a good taste as well. So that's one ingredient. The second ingredient is some good old unsalted Swedish butter. Tablespoon of that as well. The third option, it is basically the same as regular butter. So we have ghee. And no, I'm not sponsored by Kung Mar Katta. Although I am a fan of their marketing and their logo. Just for the sake of transparency there. But you can choose either of these two sources of fat. Throw in one tablespoon of each into into a mixer. And now you might say to me, hombre, are you mad for eating, for drinking this much fat? And I would say, no, it depends on what else you're eating. Some people might argue that it's dangerous with cholesterol and everything like that. It might be true if you are sedentary, but if you are active, if you live an active lifestyle, it's absolutely nothing dangerous to eat a lot of fat. It's an anti-fat myth, so to speak. But that being said as well, if you are having this for breakfast in addition to carbohydrates, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea to combine carbohydrates and fats, especially this much fat. So whenever I take this, it's if I'm going out to do something, explore a cave or drive a few hours to hold an MMA seminar like I did a few days back. I kept my energy levels throughout the day perfectly fine. I didn't have to worry about eating or anything like that. So that is the point with it. So I'm going to make it now, show how it looks and say some final words. So be right back.
Behold, the elixir of the gods is ready. Usually I would drink this in a cup, but I want to show you the, the beauty and majesty of it. So I chose the good old Swedish butter and the coconut oil. That's my standard variation. If you choose the ghee, I don't know how to pronounce it, but we can say ghee. It gives a bit less sweet taste and a bit more nutty taste, so that can be nice every once in a while as well. But um, this is how it looks right now. And uh, as I said, drink this if you are not eating any other breakfast and if you are primarily eating fats or if you intend to not eat carbohydrates for a good few hours. Because again, try to not combine fats and carbohydrates so often, especially if you want to lose some fat or lose some weight. And uh, again, if you are going to be without food for quite some time, you need a good solid drink to keep you going for a long time. So I will drink this now edit some videos, do some, do some work. So um, yeah, hopefully you can try this out and uh, get back to me in a coming video or uh, on Instagram or wherever and tell me how you like it. And also lastly, if you like Gains Kitchen videos, if you want to see more Gains Kitchen videos, smash the like button, then I know that they are appreciated. Also do follow me on Telegram. I am most active there now and uh, yeah, if you're in Sweden, if you are a fellow Swede, do check out jotunemnutrition.se for some uh, supplements. So yeah, have a glorious rest of your day. XXO. Boo.